Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Chris here from DE Razor Shaving with a new shave video. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So what are we doing in this one? First of all, before we get started, last video, I thought, I didn't know for sure. I thought these were 0.60 millimeters. No, these are not 0.60 millimeters. These are available on the website now. Phoenix Shaving website. These are actually 0.73 millimeters. So yeah, I thought there was 0.60. I was wrong. I was just guesstimating. So yeah. Just a correction. I like to correct myself. And what are we getting into? So let's first get off. Get off. <laughs> let's get off. First of all, what we're going to be shaving with is razor. We're going to be going with. We're going to be going with my the Goodfellas Smile Style Little Razor and Sandy Gold. Thought that was pretty good. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today's Friday. One in the afternoon on a Friday. Four days worth of growth. And the DE blade we're going with is a Repair Platinum Lux. Gonna go with that. That is the blade we're going with. And soap we're gonna be going with. Been in the mood for wanting to use this and now it's March 1st. So today is actually March 1st. Beware the Ides of March. Yeah, I know that's between the 13th and the 15th, but soap we're going with. Phoenix Shaving, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, Crown King Limited. Oh, uh, we're going with Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, E2 Brute? E2. It. Two, artesian shave soap. So, sample file on this one is top notes are lavender, anise, lemon, basil, basil, bergamot. Heart notes are geranium, ylang ylang. I don't know what that is. Jasmine and the base notes are sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, oak moss, vanilla, and tonga bee. What does that mean? It's basically freaking brute aftershave cologne. So, if you're a fan of that, yes, this is not available right now. It might be available at the end of March, middle of March. I don't know. Maybe they'll be bringing this back. I don't know, but I feel like using it, so that is what we're going to be going with. Brute. Uh, what else we got? That is it. That is that, and I got it blooming in the soap. In bloom. In bloom. So I'm wearing a Nirvana shirt today, too, because today is actually March 1st, and March 1st marks 30 years since Nirvana's last show that they ever played in it. Was it Italy or France? Yeah. So it's 30, 30 years since Nirvana played their last show today, March 1st. So... Brush we're going with, we're going to be going with my Razor Emporium brush, the yellow and blue one. Um, going to go with the Badger, two band Badger. I thought that'd be pretty good, so let's dump this out in the sink. Brute, yes, this smells like Brute Aftershave Cologne. I don't know if they're going to be bringing, PA is going to bring in, be bringing this out this year or not, but I feel like using it, so wear the eyes of March. <laughs> don't get stabbed in the back. Water. One water. Ooh. Pre shave. Green ice cube 2.0. That is what we're going with. Yes. So, I'm not going to be doing any pausing because we're going to actually be doing a face lather. So, I'm not using a bowl today. Gonna be doing a little bit different video. So let's pour the water out. My, I'd rather be shaving coffee mug. Matt and Doug, with the water, one little squeeze. Just this puck. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do five. That is what I'm gonna be doing. Oh, that smells so good. If you guys got like, if you are fans of brute aftershave and cologne, you would like this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, Brute does make, is it a plastic bottle? Yeah, Brute does do, it's an aftershave, and then there's actually an aftershave cologne. You can get it at Walmart, but yeah. Too much water. What? Chris doesn't use too much water, he never uses enough. And you can see the water just dripping right out. Oh well. Just flinging the water, oh well. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, nice and stretchy. That's why I wanted to use the two-band today. Plus, I think the handle matches the label on the soap pretty damn good, so... Yes, that bloomed up just nice. And bloom. Da 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 da. Mmm mmm mmm. Too much water. He's the one who likes all our pretty songs. Yeah, and this is the C. This is an old one. I've had this a long time. This is the CK one. Or yeah, this is CK one. Old label. So yeah, I've had this one quite a while. Knows not what it means, and I say, yeah. 
but it lathers up. Oh yeah, lathers up just perfectly flipping fine. I think it was a good idea to use a little bit too much water. I don't know. I got all day one today. It is Friday. It's 1.15 now. In the afternoon on a Friday. Pass number one. Now this big this razor does have really good feedback, but it's not crazy aggressive. Gone. She's like the wind. <laughs> yes, brute aftershave. That is one. When I was first starting out, when I was shaving, I didn't shave till like I was like seventeen, I think. And I was using cartridge freezer. I think of the name of it. I can't think of it. All right, I got it. Sensor three or sensor XL. I use brute. For the aftershave, I mean, I used the goo in the can, Barbasol, and then I used um, Brute or Skin Bracer. I was never into really Old Spice, like when I was younger. And my grandpa had Old Spice, my dad's dad. And I liked the smell of it, but I, I just never used it when I when I started shaving and stuff. I just liked Brute and I liked the um, Skin Bracer. And then cologne-wise, back in the 90s, we had Pierre, Pierre Cardin. <laughs> That's what my dad used. My dad loved Pierre Cardin. That's what I learned to use with. That's what I learned to use. That's how I started out. Crazy good feedback, but it's not an aggressive razor. That's why you can't always go tell just by, oh, it's got good feedback, oh, it's real aggressive. Can't go on that. It sounds good though. I like that sound. <laughs> like if I'm in here, and I'm not making a video, and I'm just shaving right here, my mom's walking by. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm shaving. She's like, oh, I hate that sound. I'm like, it sounds cool. It sounds awesome. <laughs> There we go, yeah. Mose it right down. Mosey, mosey. I don't think I need a second pass. No, that's good. That's smooth. Yeah, we're gonna only be doing one pass today. Mmm. Mmm, nostalgia. <laughs> Lathered up really nice. And I wanted a little bit more scritch, so I wanted to use that two band today. Mm. Crazy feedback. Listen to that. Sounds cool. I like the way that sounds. I like the way that sounds. Mm. Easy to get under the nose, too. Yeah. Real light razor. But you guys see me use this a few times. Or if you're new to my channel, you're seeing me use it for the first time. Very good though, yeah. Gone, 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 I'm good. All right, 
All right, so no nicks, no cuts, no weepers. Clean up and I'll be right back. Knows now what it means and I say yeah. Yeah, very close, very smooth, very good shave. No nicks, no cuts, no weepers. That's a damn fine shave. All right, so PAA, Phoenix Colors and Equipment's Allen Block. We're putting on there cold water. Cold water so it tightens the pores. Yeah, I always, went, I always rinse with cold water. No sting, nothing. Yeah, that was close, but it wasn't like crazy, crazy close. <laughs> that makes sense. Ooh. Ooh, stings right there a little bit. The chinny chin chin area. Nice when there's no nicks or cuts or nothing. It's almost like you know what you're doing, Chris. Maybe. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. So what are we doing? We're using the matching aftershave. We're using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements A2 aftershave and cologne. You can tell this is an old one because of the old school bottle. I've had this one for quite many, many years. You can see the sediment on the bottom a little bit. Just shake it a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy, crazy and just like really go to town shaking it up. Just like shake it, not stirred. So, oh yeah, it still smells good though. Try to reduce her on there. Mmm, <laughs> brute. Smells damn good. Ah, oh, it's a great, great scent. Oh, yes. Brute aftershave is what I grew up with as a kid. Oh, teenager. I didn't start developing facial hair until I was like six, 16. Like 16 or 17, I didn't start getting facial hair. So late bloomer when it came to like growing facial hair, which ain't bad. So anyways, that is it. That was the shave of the day. Very good. Very close. Smooth. Efficient. No nicks, no cuts, no weepers. That's a damn fine shave. So recap of what we used today. We used Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Crown King LTD. Not an LTD car. That's fast though. E2 Aftershave and Cologne. That's what we used. We used PAA Allen Block. Also used Razor Emporium Gold and Blue Brush. 26 millimeter two band badger knot in there. Cool, cool handle. Looks like metal, like uh, shavings or stuff. Pencil shavings. Really awesome brush. It's really cool. I thought it matched the label too. And we also used the Goodfella Smile Stiletto Razor in Cindy Gold with a first use Rapira Platinum Lux DE blade. And the star of the show, ladies and gents. Oh, use PA Alum or PA Feed Shaving. Ice Cube 2.02, the green one, and the star of the show, ladies and gents. Soap in my fingers. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, a two aftershave, artesian shave soap. That is what we use. This is an old CK1, no longer around anymore, but we face lathered it, tub lathered, tub loaded and face lathered. And that is the shave of the day. I don't know if they're gonna be coming out with that one this year or not, but Yes, that is the shave of the day, ladies and gents, and that was a damn good one. I was going to wait till tomorrow to do this on Saturday. I'm like, four days worth of growth, I'm already, it's like itching, ah, so I'm like, yeah, we're going to do this on Friday. So, <laughs> I hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good, good, rewind. Hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves, and more to come, and I will see you ladies and gents soon. Bye. <laughs> Learn how to speak, cross.